Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing a short video about the fuel economy on my Honda CB500X. This is a question I get asked often so I decided to go over my observations here. As part of that I'm going to address some of the talk online about the accuracy of the onboard trip computer and compare it to my actual numbers. To start off my bike is a 2014 model with factory gearing, a two brothers exhaust, and I am running Pirelli MT60 Corsa tires for many of these documented miles. I also have a fully adjustable and larger Madstad windscreen, Hepco and Becker Cbo side bags, and a SW Motec skid plate that may affect aerodynamics compared to a factory bike. So for this example, you can see me at the pump, and according to the computer, I have used 3.6 gallons of gas on this tank. However, I only pumped just over 3 gallons. The computer has calculated an average fuel economy of 54.9 miles per gallon on this tank, with a distance of 200.9 miles. Now if you assume the computer is correct, and over that 200.9 miles I averaged 54.9 miles per gallon, and using 3.6 gallons of gas, then the computer's numbers do add up. However, I only pumped 3.048 gallons. So dividing 200.9 miles by 3.048 gallons gives me an excellent 65.9 miles to the gallon. That means the computer is off by 20%. That is quite a lot. Luckily, this is in the rider's favor. Now the difference between the amount of fuel the computer thinks I used and what I actually used is off by a similar 18%. So the mile per gallon numbers calculated by the computer make sense. So why would these numbers be so off? I have read that one theory is Honda decided to use the same fuel gauge sending unit in the CB500X as they used in the CBR 500R and 500F. For the 2014 and 15 model years, Honda listed the 500F as having a 4.1 gallon fuel tank and listed the 500X as having a 4.6 gallon tank. Now this is a 12% difference in volume. So if this is true, that is a large part of the difference right there with the remaining most likely coming from the slightly different speeds at which the fuel levels drop from the different shape of the tanks. Now I do find it ironic that Honda has these computers programmed to show a poorer fuel economy rating than they actually get. I have owned a few cars and SUVs with mile per gallon readouts and they were always overly optimistic compared to what I actually got. At any rate, back to my observations with the CB. I generally averaged around 58 to 60 miles to the gallon in Phoenix, Arizona traffic, commuting to work and running around town. In this traffic, I did not take it easy on the bike. I was eager to rev it up during acceleration or drop a couple gears and pin it to jump through traffic when needed. Out of town on the open roads, I regularly would see the high 60s while exploring the southwest region of the country. In fact, while in western Montana, I managed to get 64 miles to the gallon on a day trip riding two up. That is hard to beat on most any bike. The best fuel economy I have recorded was an amazing 74 miles per gallon. That was achieved on a trip back from Zion National Park in Utah to Scottsdale, Arizona. Those are numbers my 250 Dual Sports have struggled to get with half the power. So needless to say, the Honda CB500X continues to impress me with its combination of comfort, power, and economy. Now as they say, your numbers may vary. This could be due to many things, including mods, rider weight, tires, quality of gas, elevation, terrain, even weather can affect your fuel economy. Not to mention model year changes made by Honda. Now for these observations, I always fill my tank up to the same level. Reset my trip meter at each fill, and I have verified the accuracy of my odometer with both a Garmin GPS and my iPhone 5S and 6 Plus. It is accurate enough not to throw these numbers off by more than about 1% with my current tires and gearing. So there you go. A look at the fuel economy observations I have made with my 2014 Honda CB500X over the last couple of years. I hope this helps anyone out there that is trying to make sense of their own bike's fuel economy numbers and for those that are looking to get one of these awesome bikes. Stay safe and keep on riding. Thank you.